Hi, I'm Zoe from Embertech Solutions. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your new email account using Outlook Express. So click on Start, go to All Programs, and select Outlook Express. This is for users who don't have Microsoft Outlook 2007 or any other version of Microsoft Outlook. I would always recommend using Outlook over Outlook Express because it has so many more features. But Outlook Express does come with Microsoft um, Windows XP, so it's a free email program. This message here is just telling me that Microsoft Outlook is not my current default email client. That's because I've already got a Microsoft um, Outlook 2007 set up. So it's just asking me if I want to make it my main default mail client. And it's asking me if I always want to perform this when starting Outlook. So I'm going to select no in this case because I don't want to. But you might select yes because you would want to prefer to use Outlook Express than any other email account. First of all, it's going to ask for the name that I want to display that will appear in the from field of the outgoing message. So I'm going to type in here. There we go. Anything you want can, be going, can go in there. Now the next part, you'll need the configuration file that you would have received. And if you haven't received a configuration file, you really do need to get in touch with us by telephone or by email so that we can post it or send it off for you. The configuration file will contain your incoming and outgoing server details. It will contain your username and your password. So you really do need that before you continue these next steps. So then you need to type in your email address. And for this exercise, I'm going to use email setup at embertech.co.uk and click on next and next it's asking me for my incoming mail server and outgoing mail server we need to leave this here as pop3 your incoming and outgoing mail server will be both the same and they will be in the format of mail dot your domain name in my case it's embertech .co.uk uh, that will be whatever your web address is and the same in the outgoing and click on next your account name will be your email address that's your username oops I clicked on a button by accident sorry and the password. Click on next and click on finish. This is just telling me that it's detected previous Outlook and I'm telling it I do not want to import messages from any other email program and I'm going to click on next and click on finish. I'm just going to make some more adjustments because um, it didn't ask me everything on setup. So if I go to tools and accounts and go into mail, I will see the email account that I've just set up, which yes will indicate that you can have more than one email account, but that's for another tutorial. I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to click on servers. And for outgoing mail server, my server requires authentication. And we want it to use the same settings as the incoming, so don't need to change that. In the advanced, we want to leave a copy of the message on the server. Click apply and click OK. Go to the inbox. There's a standard welcome message. I'm going to delete that. And I'm also going to remove this uh, message preview pane. That's because it opens emails automatically and that's not something that you want to be doing because if the message contained a virus, it would have opened it automatically. 
So I'm going to go into the layout and remove the preview pane. And that's it, that's completed.